Welcome back to Lake Texoma and the Texas Collegiate Challenge presented by Abu Garcia. We'll get right back into tournament coverage with the University of North Alabama's Nathan Martin and Austin Mize. Here we are. We drove out here to Texoma to qualify for the national championship on our home lake. And this year they're doing it a little differently where they're gonna crown team of the year champions in Florence, Alabama in front of our home crowd. So we're right there in contention to bring that trophy back to Florence for the third time. So we drove our butts out here to take Soma. Man, it would be awesome because we've already won it twice. So a third time would just be icing on the cake. And it would really mean a lot for our program. We'd get a lot of good high school students coming in because they want to win, uh, just like us. <laughs> we forgot our net at the house in Tuscumbia. So we're gonna have some interesting uh, crankbait landings that today. Is that fish bleeding? Yeah, she's good though. I'm talking about like on the tail. No, she's really good. What's that fish do for you, man? Definitely gets a little pressure off our back. Fish a little uh, less stressed out. That's for sure. You know. You, you just fish for every bite you can get. I'll gladly take it. That's two for the boys from the UNA. Moving on, this is Jackson Case and Tyler Woods fishing for Stephen F. Austin. And that is fish number two. We're working it right now. We're just flipping all these stumps and uh, casting every rock we can see. It's still in the water. And uh, in between on bear banks, we throw a chatter baits, spinner baits, just trying to get a fish in that. But so far, I don't know which one's working the best. <laughs> All working pretty bad. We'll check back with Jackson and Tyler in a bit. This is Nathan Bell and Cole Sands. They fish for Dayton, Tennessee's Bryan College. Uh, it started off really good. We, uh, we pulled in here. We had a good day yesterday. We fished the Texas team trail. Caught two big smallmouth in here yesterday. We started here expecting to catch smallmouth and uh, went down the stretch and I caught three, uh, a three and a quarter, a three pounder and a two pounder, all largemouth. And turned around, about right there, I caught a fish, 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 fish. Big and dude. Is it? Yep. Biggest oh. fish. Oh. Stay on, baby. Please stay on. Yes. Yeah! That's a good one, Just dude. pops off in the net, too. That's a good one. Here, let me get your crankbait out. Okay, turns. now we just got one little one to get rid of, and we really might have a shot at it. Dude, I was letting it come back up. And he bit. We're just waiting for the camera boat to get here to catch this one, I guess. That's the one we need to drive right there. We kind of stumbled upon this yesterday mid-morning. We didn't have any fish, and we came in here, and there's the shad were spawning up and down this steep, rocky bank. And uh, we just started throwing a little medium diving crankbait started catching them. We caught our limit in here in the first little while and I think we ended up culling seven or eight times throughout the day yesterday. And uh, we was catching them on a spro medium diving crankbait and we've only got one so he's throwing it he's kicking my tail. But uh, we're just just basically just paralleling these steep walls and they're, they're here pretty good. <laughs> 